No, I can go louder. You would never leave me. You got your phone? My phone is good. Is it? What's up, y'all? Come on. Yes, yes. Tabletop conversation with Enrique and Katrina. We about to go in, y'all. Come on in. Come on in, fam. We about to go in. Yeah. What's happening? Hey, Danita, we missed you, man. What's up, girl? How you doing, man? We're going to have a great conversation tonight, family. Great conversation. Great conversation. So much more. Yeah. Still worth fighting for. Eyes have received. Ears have been heard. All you have to Yeah. We're going to have a great conversation today. And nothing can separate me from your love. When there's so much more. Yeah. Come on in, guys. Come on in, family. Come on in. That's why I'm pressing. Towards the mark. I love this song, man. Calling on my life. It's worth fighting for. And I'll keep my mind. Pop out with us, God. Happy Tuesday. This is Tabletop Relationship Conversation with Enrique and Katrina. I like this part right here. And I'll be faithful to my wife and children. Yes, God. Yes, God. My family. It's worth fighting for. It's worth fighting for. I love it. I love it. Yes. It's not my own. We are going to have a wonderful conversation today. Praise God. It's worth fighting for. I got a mansion. Over in glory. And my new home. It's worth I love it. I love it. Come on in. We about to have a, a wonderful conversation, man. Real talk, real talk. Yeah. Hey, you ready? It's worth fighting for. I can't turn it off. Hallelujah. Now. Hey. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. Life with you is worth fighting for. I love it. I'm telling you, I, I can I can rock out to that joint right there yes. all day, every day. Hallelujah. I'm telling Life you, I can rock out to that. It's worth fighting Woo. for. <laughs> Eyes have been seen. I love that. Ears have been heard. So much more. My God, my God, my God. Listen, listen, hold up. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Look. That's my favorite. Let me tell you something. I can rock out to that joint yeah, right that's there. That's my favorite. Man, that's one of my mm -hmm. that right there. I love that. Man, song. you know what, man? When I when I when I when I hear that song, I it's like me having a conversation mm -hmm. with God. You know what I'm saying? Because I love it when gospel artists actually take scripture yes. and, and make a song out of it. Right. And that's actual scripture. That's 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9. Right, right. You know, so when he does that, I'm like, woof. What's, you know, what's up? What's I think, up? I think anything that you do, whether it's a gospel artist, whether it's a preacher, whether it's a teacher, I think when it's spirit filled and it's authentic, I think it's something that people can identify with. Yeah. You understand? I'm with you on that. When you bring them stuff that's so rich 
and full of the spirit and they know that it's coming from the heart yeah. I think that it really witnesses the people and there's so many things that you can use to get the attention of God's yeah. people I mean you could do it through song right, 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 right. through teaching yeah. through dancing yeah. so many ways but he that song right there is he, he put his heart into he it he put his heart into he it heart and I really I really love that song as a matter of fact you remember one time we were here Listening to that song yeah. um, in the kitchen. Yeah, yeah. And oh, the Holy my God. Spirit fell in our kitchen. You, you remember that? I remember it. Oh, my man. mom was here. Was it, was it for Thanksgiving? No, I, I think we were just having dinner. But I mean, that thing it was, felt strong. It was amazing. Yeah, we it couldn't stop. We could couldn't not stop, stop praising tears God. Tears flowing. Tears flowing, just everything. Amazing, yeah. amazing, amazing. So, yeah, God ministers to people through music. And so that's what we want to do. Before we start the show, we always try to have a good time with you guys and introduce you to some good Christian music, but also it ushers the spirit in sure. into this place that in our home you bring so in. that we can we can witness and minister to you guys and be as spirit filled and authentic as possible. We ne we may not throw the Bible at you in your face and quote twenty scriptures, but it's all spirit Feel. And we do it because we don't want to come here and give you us. No, none we of want, us. We want to come here and give you the one who sent us. That's right. And for that reason, you know, that's the reason why we usher it in. Mm -hmm. We want to romance the spirit of God so yes. you guys can feel it as yeah, well. Yeah, so you guys can can worship with us. Hallelujah. Yep. Hallelujah. What's happening, guys? This is a uh, tabletop conversation with Enrique and Katrina. What's yes. up, Katrina? Nothing. What's up, Enrique? Everything is good. It's a beautiful Tuesday. Awesome Tuesday. Anytime you are live, anytime I can see your messages and you can see my face, it's great because I know we are in the land of the living Hallelujah. and God has granted us another day Hallelujah. to be alive and live on purpose. What you think about that? I love it. Living, living on, on purpose. purpose. Yeah, I love that. I love that. We're going to have an awesome conversation today, but before we start... Oh, hey, Instagram, I'm sorry. Instagram and Facebook. What's up, Instagram? What's happening, I family? always forget we do Instagram and yeah. Facebook. But what I want to do before we get started, I want to make one announcement. For those ladies who uh, have inboxed me about uh, my seven-week event starting October the 6th. October the 6th, for seven weeks, I'm doing this event for ladies online. It's going to be uh, uh, done by video on Zoom. It's called... Uh, Five key qualities a man must have in order for your relationship to work. I want you to know that I'm going to be contacting and interviewing you guys this week here because I'm only doing 15 ladies. But I have to interview to interview you to make sure that you are the you you're ready for it. Mm -hmm. I just don't want to open it up for someone who isn't ready. So um, I'm going to contact you still. If you guys are interested, inbox me, DM me, and tell me you're interested, and I'm going to get with you this week and have the interview conversation and get you ready for October the 6th. Again, five key qualities a man must have in order for your relationship to work. Saturday, October the 6th. Mm -hmm. Let's have our conversation. Okay. In the, world of, in the world of social media, how do you find and then stay in love? Mm -hmm. in, the, in the world of social media where everything is fast-paced, mm -hmm. Where, where the world is, is ran by Twitter and Instagram and Facebook. How do you find love if you're looking for it? And mm -hmm. if you have it, how do you stay in love? Mm -hmm. Because if we can be honest, we can, we can create relationships, and many of us have created relationships mm -hmm. online. Right. Just by somebody liking your picture mm -hmm. or, or making a comment Mm -hmm. you automatically can create an online relationship. Right. And many people have created online relationships just because someone liked their pictures mm -hmm. or, or gave them some comments or some compliments. Mm -hmm. So what, what I'm saying is that in a social media world, we have become more desensitized mm -hmm. to what it really is to find love mm -hmm. and keep it. Right. Because I can, I can be in relationship with you over likes. Yeah. 
if I like enough of your pictures and, 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 and say good things about you and then sneak a message through your inbox, we could be in relationship. But well, that's happening a lot. I, what made you want to talk about this? <laughs> you, no, I'm just saying, I had this conversation with someone last week. Did so you? It's, yeah, so it's, it's odd that you would want to have this be the Well, this say nothing tonight. but the spirit of God. Yeah, but it's also, it's it's very relevant. It's it's happening. Mm-hmm. And and what what I'm saying is that if we don't take time out from social media, social media can absolutely, absolutely destroy our relationships. Mm-hmm. Or it could give us a false sense of love. Mm -hmm. Never mind meeting someone on social media and someone from around the street from you or up the block or in your state, same state. Mm -hmm. You can hook up with someone out of state or even out of the country. Yeah, it's happening. You know, it's happening. Mm -hmm. Like, you can get an inbox like, yo, you hot. What's up? Boom. And before you know it, you on a plane and you flying somewhere. Right, absolutely. You see what I'm saying? So... But there is no courtship, right. right? There is no courting. And when that happens, what we do is now we take out the fun. We take out the investigation because someone liked your pictures. Right. But before you even get a chance to even meet that person, you fall in love with the thought of being in love. The and thought. so what happens is you studying this person's profile. Oh, man. But the profile is a made-up profile. Come on, Could be come Because on. nobody's going to show you their worst. Right. Even on social media, people don't show you their worst wow. stuff. They show you their best pictures. So, so you're they falling... Say, so you're, I'm sorry. So you're falling in love with the representation? Absolutely. And so they, they create a soul tie based on that. Soul tie. What they think. You understand? So really, people can be, in, if they lonely enough, they can be in love before they even meet this person. Abs- you know what? Yeah. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. You can absolutely be in love before you meet this person. And you don't even know this person's uh, growing, grow, uh, their parents. Mm-hmm. You don't know where they grew up. Mm-hmm. You don't. Know, you don't know nothing. All you know is what they show you mm-hmm. on social media. Mm-hmm. How many times that has happened? I have counseled some couples, mm-hmm. and I remember counseling one particular couple, and I would not make this up. This particular couple, one of the persons in the couple had liked someone's photos on their page three hundred times. Mm-hmm. And when I came in for the for the counseling, one of the issues that they had was, of course, my mate is giving this person too much attention. Mm-hmm. So I said, well, let me see what's going on. And when they showed me the unlimited likes and comments, I looked over and said, my God, mm-hmm. you got a lot of time on your hand to be on this person's page. Right. And then, of course... You know, this person investigating said, well, you don't like me, my pictures this much. Right. What's going on here? Right. You see what I'm saying? So there's nothing innocent about this. Right. We have to wake up because what social media is doing is controlling our entire existence. Mm-hmm. Because you can look at someone and look at a situation and say, I want that. But you're seeing just the picture. That's it. You're seeing you're seeing a, a, a one-minute Instagram video. Mm-hmm. You're seeing a, a, a three-minute Facebook video. Yeah, and people get to create who they want to be once again. So it's like you not even falling in love with the real person a lot of times because people can create whoever they want themselves to be on social media. You understand? Yeah. So, you know, I'm sure that there are people who have actually gotten together because of it. And then when they've actually met that person and, per- you know, face to face, they've said, you know what? This, this is not all this cracked up to be. This is it's, totally different than crazy. the person, all the quotes that this person posted. Yeah. You know, all the pretty pictures and, you know, they, they look like they were stable. They, you know, they had a good job. All of these things. Right. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Y'all do us a favor. Share this video. Yes, bring, bring more people in because I'm telling you that this is God inspired because what's happening right now, love is being dumbed down mm-hmm. and love is being downgraded because of the quick fix. Mm-hmm. You know, with social media, everything now is quick. Mm-hmm. We, we want fast, fast, mm-hmm. fast. Mm-hmm. Internet speed, fast, faster cars. Everything now is quick. Microwave, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. We have no more time for the oven. Mm-hmm. The oven is when you allow things to go in and bake mm-hmm. at three fifty for two hours, mm-hmm. right? But we want to put it in a we want to put it in a microwave and get that popcorn, mm-hmm. that popcorn instantaneous gratification. Mm-hmm. You know, we don't want to study this person and say, "Well, let me see what you're really all about. Mm-hmm. Let's see what's going on." You know, I was in Atlanta some years ago, 
and I'm not going to publicize none of these particular sites or whatever, but I was in Atlanta a couple of years ago and I was, I was dumbfounded when I found out that you can actually get on the website and hook up with someone. And when they come or you guys connect, you already know sex going on. Oh, okay. You already know it's, it's, you, it's, you having sex. And I'm like, I was, I was blown away. I was like, wait a minute, hold up. You think what? Mm -hmm. So my man was like, yeah, uh, you know, I got on the site, met a girl. Said this, came to the house. We had, I was like, that happened? Mm -hmm. I said, did you know her name? Well, based on the computer. I was like, wow. Wow. Based on the computer, that's what I knew. But other than that, I knew nothing about her. Right. And we had sex. She came in the house. She, you know, two minutes later, we're having sex. And mm -hmm. I'm like, wow. Right. Wow. It's a dangerous time. It's a dangerous time. It, it's especially for our children, right? Mm -hmm. Because our children, when we were growing up, we didn't have this level of temptation. Right. If we could be honest out there, family, the level the level of temptation is on a thousand. Yeah, it's right on now. a thousand. And if you're not a strong person, mm -hmm. if you're not a person who who is God centered, mm -hmm. if you're not a person who is disciplined and focused, yeah. you can fall for You'll the fall for anything. you can fall for the attention. Mm -hmm. Because here's the truth about it, right? Social media has made it where we are socially and emotionally connected. To people and things we don't even know. You know what? Check this out. We are in a lot of people, a lot of us, we are in relationship with social media. More so than God himself. Yeah. We are in relationship with social media more so than God himself. So if we are more in tune with social media than we are with God, we don't know what's real and what's fake in the first place. This is, this is terrible. Yeah. Because when you get up in the morning... The first thing we're grabbing is yeah. that phone. Uh -huh. We want to see what we missed mm -hmm. while we were sleeping. Right. How many people commented on my pictures? Mm -hmm. How many likes did I get? Mm -hmm. How many views did I get? Right. I mean, this stuff is crazy. Right. So you can't even concentrate. God may be sending somebody your way. You, he, uh, that man that he has for you or that woman that he has for you may be working in a cubicle next to you, but you're so distracted because you done created a soul tie on soul social tie. media that you can't even see the one that was sent. A soul tie. And it's a distraction in so many ways. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing because we use it. We right. use it We use it to get God's word sure. out. So it's not a bad thing. But huh. at the same time, used wrongly, it can destroy relationships. Yeah. It can have you in false relationships. Yeah. And it can have you missing out on a lot of things because you are being distracted. Love it. That's, that's awesome. Well, you know, social media media is not a bad thing. No. If we use it the right way. Use it the of right way. Of course you want to, you know, social media is to connect with family and yes, friends. Yes, family and friends. Right, to stay in contact, to let the let people know what's happening yes. in your life, okay? Yes. To promote goodness, okay? Yes. But when we use it for the wrong thing, To get people conscious of what's going on in the world we, today. We, 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 should, we are ABC News. Right. We are CNN. Yes. With, with the Twitters and the Facebook and the Instagram. Those are our networks that we use to get the word out about what's happening in our lives or help someone out with information. Right. Social media is a place to gather and give information. Mm -hmm. Not to gather someone's wife. Right. Right. Not to gather someone's yeah, husband. Yeah, not to be in somebody's DM and you know you got a ring on your finger. Not to do that. Yeah. You know, and, and it's crazy because you have people going on, so getting on these inboxes and stuff and doing things and saying things. I had to, I had to block, I had to block this girl uh, last month. Mm -hmm. You know, she came on my page and she, she made a comment. And I and I, I sensed it, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to automatically shut her down because I always look for an opportunity to show God. Right. So she she made a comment, and I, I said thank you, I appreciate it, I'm happily married. Mm -hmm. I said that to her, and then she came back and said, "All I want to do is sleep with you one time, just one good time." I was right. like, "Boom, you out of here." Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because I knew you were slipping, but when you fell, I left you there. Right. I wasn't gonna pick you up. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I knew, I you, knew were you were slipping, slipping, but when you fell, I, I kept, left you. I left your butt there because right. I gave you a chance to slip, but not right. to fall. Right, right. You know, but when she came with that, I said, "Oh no, you got to go." Mm -hmm. I told you, "Thank you." I am happily married. Right. You see, but what you're trying to do is 
You're trying to do to me what someone else fell for. Mm -hmm. You did that to, to Joe Schmo, and Joe Schmo and you was knocking boots. I'm not going to do that. Yeah. You see, yeah. I'm committed and dedicated to what I want and what I what I have here. Right. And I'm not doing that stupid right. stuff. But, but it has worked for her on so many levels. And that's why and she it, did it. Has, it has worked for a lot of people on so many levels. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something. That Bible is so true. And it says the wages of sin is death. You go ahead and hook up with somebody that you don't know nothing about. You get something that you can't get rid of. You understand? That is it's a dangerous place to be because you thing. do not know what you are getting. And it's also a trap. It is a trap that the enemy uses to set for you to put you in those places. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? Yeah. It yeah. does. Yeah, y'all share this video. Now, what what we're saying is now people have used social media and met amazing people. Yeah, they have. Right? Yes. But I wouldn't recommend being here and meeting someone and not going through the proper steps Absolutely. to know that person. There are pros and cons. Right? Just mm -hmm. because I see you every day. Right. I see your comments. I, I Your posts, it doesn't mean that I still don't need to investigate. Absolutely. Just like a person you may meet in a grocery right, store. Right, right. It's no different. Right. There still, there still needs to be an investigation Absolutely. process. Absolutely. But social media it has made it where it is so easy mm -hmm. for a person to be connected with five other people. Mm -hmm. It is unreal. You can mm -hmm. be on a plane every day of the week going somewhere mm -hmm. because it is just that easy to mm -hmm. connect with people. Absolutely. And what's the first thing? People don't even communicate anymore. When people go out and they meet people and they're out of town or something and they're in different settings, the first thing they want to ask the person is, what's your social media? Yeah. They don't even ask for a lady's number anymore. <laughs> Can I call you? They want to know what's your social what's media. You want me to tell you why? Because when they go to your social media, they can see if you displaying your butt and all of that stuff because that lets them know if you easy or not. Well, I mean, if we could be honest, employ and people are who your employers. Mm -hmm. People are looking for that to see what kind of person you what are. What kind of person you what's are. What's the level of your consistency? Right, right. You know, so so what I'm saying is that, you know, social media is no different nowadays than your thumbprint. Mm -hmm. What kind of what kind of trail are you leaving behind? What are you leaving behind? What are you what are you displaying for your children? Mm -hmm. Why are we camera whores? Right. Like what I'm saying is people just want to get on camera to do the stupidest things mm -hmm. just to get attention. And it's it, it, it's not supposed to be that way because what you're doing is you're putting yourself on display to the world. Mm -hmm. Okay. Why don't you use it? Why why not let us use it to glorify some positivity? Yeah. To to lift up God, to show to to, to give information, show family, to show, show family positive thing. the right thing because we need to use it for the right thing, mm -hmm. but when we're using this thing to hook up with people and connect and do all of these things and start to have a fears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that's when things start to mess right, up. Right. You know, and when we talk about when you get up in the morning, if you are reaching for your phone mm -hmm. before thanking God, right. that's your God. Yeah, that is your God. That is something is wrong where you are getting up in the middle of the morning. Mm -hmm. You can't even be in the bathroom. If you hear that sound go off, you're grabbing the phone. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, man. Mm -hmm. We are in restaurants, and we have a family, and we have the, 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 the wife, the son, the daughter, the father, everybody. Yep, on their phones. On their phones. Where is the no family time? Where's the communication? Mm -hmm. We are now we are now raising our children to be robots. Mm -hmm. So now how would your daughter or your son know what it is to date? Yeah. To communicate with a young lady. To communicate or a young man. with a young lady. Mm -hmm. I mean the and, and then you over dinner. And while you're eating with one hand, you're doing this mm -hmm. with the other, and you never made eye contact. Yeah, and because it's causing people to become socially awkward. You understand? Socially awkward. Because you see people out, you know, all the time, and they could be hanging out with their friends and stuff, and or on a date, like you said, and they just looking down the whole time. And I'm like, well, what would you come together for? Yeah. You could have came by yourself and just stayed on your date your phone. You could have yeah. been on a date with your telephone. Yeah. What's the purpose? Yeah, yeah. It's 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 a it's concerning to me because when I see when I when I sit down with couples 
and I'm actually interviewing couples, I can actually see because I'm not I'm not in the fight with them. Mm-hmm. So when I have the bird's eye view, and I'm on the outside looking in, I can see how social media is impacting people who have even been together for a long time. Yeah, I can see the the shortness. Mm-hmm. I can see the disattachment. Yes, I can see where a, a woman a woman is being more distant with her husband because she sees someone on her page and she's she's become so tied to that person. that she finds more attractive mm-hmm. and she starts to innocently give in to the play yeah right and now she believes that it's okay because we're doing this over the computer mm-hmm. so there's nothing to it because it's happening over the computer mm-hmm. wait a minute what you're doing is you're connect you're you're connecting a a a, a uh what, what's the word you you're doing uh an internet relationship, mm-hmm. right? You you are now establishing an internet relationship. So in all reality, what you have done is you have invited another individual mm-hmm. into your bedroom mm-hmm. and you don't know it because you're thinking about this individual mm-hmm. and you're so used to getting his inbox messages that when you get an inbox message, you're automatically hoping it's him. You're looking for You're looking you're for building a relationship. You're building a relationship. So now... When you guys get together, the only thing left to do is to do do physically what you did emotionally. Mm-hmm. You see, it's nothing to it. You already had sex. You mm-hmm. already were intimate in your here, mind. In your mind. Mm-hmm. He had you here. He captured you here. Mm-hmm. You captured him here. So now... Sex is not a, it's, it's not a big deal because... You feel like you already know. You already did it. Mm-hmm. You, he has impregnated you mm-hmm. in your mind, and, and, and you, have, you have tampered with his mind. Mm-hmm. So now his wife is wondering, her fiancé is wondering, what's going on? Well, you don't know that your fiancé or your husband or your wife has been having for the last six months mm-hmm. an internet relationship. Mm-hmm. So now what happens is they're planning, hey, let's meet in so-and-so three weeks from now. Mm-hmm. It's going to be all innocent. You get a room, I get a room. Mm-hmm. See, you're playing games. Mm-hmm. This thing's serious. Yeah, and it's happening. Man, left and right. Yeah. I'm sitting out with folks and I'm seeing this thing. Right. You see, the, the Bible tells us in Galatians chapter 5 that a little bit of leaven, not a whole lot. That's it. You don't need a whole lot. Yeah. A little bit of leaven spoils the whole loaf. loaf. You don't need a whole lot. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you was to take a little bit of dirt, a little bit of dirt, just let me let me illustrate something. Mm -hmm. If you was to take, let's say this right here. See how small this is in comparison to this. If you was to take this right here and put it on this right here, mm-hmm. even though it didn't cover the whole paper, the whole paper is messed up. Mm-hmm. If it's dirt, mm-hmm. you see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because once you take the little bit of dirt and you mix it mm-hmm. into everything, mm-hmm. then where's the dirt? Right. The dirt is in everything. Mm-hmm. It's not in one section. Right. It's in all sections. Right. You see, that's what sin is. Mm-hmm. Sin is taking a little bit of dirt and smearing it in a big place. Mm-hmm. My God. When you take a little bit of dirt and smear it in a big place, that little bit of dirt don't stay in that one section. Mm -hmm. It spreads throughout the entire location. Mm -hmm. So all of you now are infested because you allow a little bit of temptation to enter into your big situation. Mm -hmm. You don't need a whole lot of temptation. Mm -mm. No. You just need a little bit. Mm -hmm. A conversation is temptation. Mm -hmm. So even, I'm going to say this to you, brother, out there, and and I'm going to keep it real. I'm going to talk to a man. You're going to talk to a woman. Listen, my brother, you know who you are attracted to. You know what you like when you see. That's who you're looking for. You know it. Now, if you are in a relationship, let me give you a word of advice. If you are in a relationship, don't entertain it. Mm -hmm. If you know this woman here is someone that automatically you feel an instantaneous physical attraction to. Mm -hmm. Don't go there. Mm -hmm. You already know that you're going to try to get in it. Mm -hmm. There's nothing innocent about plotting, about doing wrong. Mm -hmm. Let me say that again. There's nothing innocent when you are plotting to do wrong. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. If you are plotting to do wrong, it's not innocent because given a chance, you're going to dip you're into something it. you should not be dipping into. So you have to be wise to say, I don't even know this person. Mm-hmm. Okay. 
I don't even know who she is, mm -hmm. okay? She looks to be somebody who is fine. She's beautiful, but I don't know her. Mm -hmm. And I'm not, ri I'm not willing to risk what I have for this right here. Right. I'm going to say it this way. A moment of passion is not worth a lifetime of blindness. Right. Samson had the same issue. Mm -hmm. Samson was tempted. And in, in that temptation, he fell. And then he lost his vision mm -hmm. and lost his strength. Right. I want to tell you that when you fall to temptation... You're going to lose your vision and lose your strength. Mm -hmm. Don't do stuff like that, man. When you know that situation is going on, mm -hmm. back off of it. Mm -hmm. Man, block that person, man. Mm -hmm. Listen, if you block that person, you safe. Mm -hmm. But as long as you keep saying, hey, how you doing? Mm -hmm. Good morning. Liking all these pictures. Eventually, man, you opening yourself up to do something wrong. Absolutely. And if that's the case, then get out of that relationship. Mm -hmm. Talk to a woman out well, there. Well, for the women, I would just say, you know, there's a saying we say you can't show everybody your teeth. But, uh, you know, you can't, everybody that comes into your DM, you can't be so quick to be able to converse with them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If men are coming through your DM because they like the way you look, you can shut it down by just saying, yes, hello, okay, what's your motive? You know what I'm saying? Right. Shut it down. Just be direct. Don't, you know, entertain the conversation. Right. You understand? You know I'm laughing, right? Why? Go ahead. Keep talking. Yeah, don't entertain <laughs> it. You know what I'm saying? Because they understand when women are flattered. You understand? Absolutely. They do. Yeah. So, you know, go ahead and shut it down right away. And that'll, you know, that'll keep all, of the, all that stuff in the middle. You won't even have a chance to even get connected to that person. You understand? Yeah, y'all press share right now because I want to ask Katrina a question. Mm -hmm. Y'all, y'all go ahead and share this video. As a matter of fact, do me a favor because last week we didn't, we didn't do this last week. Okay. I want y'all to do us a favor. Do hashtag keep the family, family together. together. Mm -hmm. Do us that favor, family. On Facebook and on Instagram, mm -hmm. do us a favor. Hashtag keep, keep the, the family, family together. together. That's what we're doing here. Do us one more time. Hashtag keep, keep, keep the, family the family together. together. And press share right now, please. I'm laughing, right? Because mm -hmm. I don't know. I just heard this so funny. So I just shared one of my one of my social media's shutdowns. Mm -hmm. What's one of yours? <laughs> you share one of your social... You know what? I had social media... I told you. I just shared it oh, when, I, when, when I said the, when the, the girl wanted to talk about to you. Well, you know what? You ever, had, you ever had somebody to shut I down? I have never really had to shut somebody down because you know what? If a person says hello in my social media, if they say something like hello, beautiful... I'll go to their page and look and see who it is. I'll shut. I'll, I'll unfriend them. Off top. Off top. So, so you're not like me, huh? You're not, you're not like oh, me. Oh no, I don't entertain that food. Well, I wasn't entertaining. Yeah. What, I, what I what I did was again for me. See, I I tried. You thought to, it was an opportunity to be able to. I, I thought so because I did look at her pictures, mm -hmm. right? I did look at her profile and I said, eh. This is somebody probably who I can witness through to, through what I do. Mm -hmm. So let me use this tool mm -hmm. to bring her in because I can tell by what I see here. Right. And you don't want to judge people by appearance. No, right. But you can you can look at some things and, and see the consistency and the spirit behind things. Mm -hmm. So when this particular lady did this, I looked at it. I said, ah, yeah. Let me use this as a as a witnessing opportunity right. to let her know about the Lord. Right, right. Right. So that's what I thought was going to happen. Right. I did shut it down after she slipped and fell. Right. You know, when she slipped, I held up a little bit. Ah, come on, sis. Let's not go there. Right. I'm happily married. Right. But you never have to shut nobody down? No. Okay. No, nah, because I already know what their intentions are. If they come with that hello, beautiful stuff, I psh, right away. Shut right. it down. Well, good, good for yep. you. <laughs> shut it down. I don't entertain it. Man, I don't have time for the nonsense. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I, I get it straight from 21 Jump Street. Yeah. I'm just going to keep it real. I don't have time for the nonsense. Yeah, not only that, you know, you know what you got in me, any day. Absolutely, <laughs> that too. Yeah, that too. Well, when you when you know what you have, mm -hmm. you don't risk it. Right, and another thing too is, if the person is trying to be your friend anyway, most likely they've been on your profile and and they've seen what your status is. Yeah, they check. So you if out. you've seen my status. Then why you in my why are you in my DM or my inbox talking about hello beautiful? You be, understand? Be, because the five other hello beautifuls it's, it has it has happened. I got you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when you have five other hello beautifuls, mm -hmm. hey right. before you know it, you are across the table mm -hmm. from this person. It's, it's happened it's, for them too so much. And, mm -hmm. and, and and right now, you know, love is the most dumbed down, confused person in the world. Mm -hmm. it is, it is, and I say a person because God is love. Mm -hmm. Right? 
And I say this because we have come into a place where we really don't understand what love looks like and what love is to the point where you can really believe someone really likes you and has interest in you because of likes mm -hmm. and comments, mm -hmm. which is crazy. Yeah, I agree. It, that's what it's gotten to. That's what it has gotten to. We need to wake up, family. Yep. And we need to really... One of the things I'm going to suggest before we get out of here is you're going to have to find time every day at some point to purge yourself mm -hmm. from this thing called social media, mm -hmm. man. And another thing I want to say since we're talking about this subject. Go ahead, baby. Single women. Uh-oh. Every time I, I look, you know, I get the pictures through my news and feed. You can always tell when a woman is single. Stop using your social media for a dating site. You understand? Stop taking all of these single women pictures, looking all seductive, all sexy, because all you're saying is, I need a man. This picture is for you. Don't do that. Because right. you're trying to do the work for a guy. He already has somebody for you. Yeah. But I can always tell when a woman is single on social media. Stop taking these pictures yeah. Yeah. like that. Yeah, yeah. We have to, we have to find time. To disconnect as mm -hmm. much as possible. Right. And connect with God as much as possible. Because right. when social media starts to be more important than God, mm -hmm. and we find validation mm -hmm. in social media, and we don't care more about our family, when you can't drive down the road without checking your Facebook status and your, and your Instagram likes... Something is mm -hmm. seriously, seriously wrong. Mm -hmm. Because now we have been programmed to the point where something as small as a telephone is controlling our entire existence, mm -hmm. our entire being. And people are breaking up mm -hmm. and people are hooking up with the wrong people mm -hmm. just because social media is dictating where this thing goes. Where it goes. And married men. Stop letting other people on on Facebook and Instagram tell your wife how beautiful they are. Wow. Yeah. Stop letting them do it. You do it. Right. So that they don't have to get that attention from social wow. media. Let them get it with you. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Let them get it with you. So if you, what you're saying, honey, is that if you take care of home. Take care of home. Then social media is so not. So social media don't have to tell her how beautiful she is. She, she needs to know how she beautiful she is. She needs to know that is. how beautiful she is at home. Wow. Because that's a, that's a door opener. You understand? Wow. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Let's pray. Okay. Father, let's, let's pray. Father, we, we're asking for you to increase our level of sensitivity. And Father God, in Jesus' name, we're asking you, Lord God, to wake us up to what's really happening. Yes. Let us use this tool called social media, Father God, for all goods yes. and to unite and connect with the right people. Yes. And Father, not for the wrong purposes. We are asking you to give us a new mindset, a renewed thinking where social media do not uh, control or dictate who we are or what we do. Yes. But we are now hooked with you, connected to you. You are the one who guides us and assists us and directs us in our lives, Father. Wake us up from this world of social media where we are now, we are now like robots connected to our cell phones and our iPads and the computer. Father, we're asking now, Lord God, for the Holy Spirit to come on in and give us that, that relationship that we need to bring us back to that place of sensitivity. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right. Amen. Awesome show. Yep. Hey, guys, you guys enjoyed that? Yep. Do us a solid favor. Hashtag for us. Keep the family together. Keep it together. You guys enjoyed that? Find it for you? No, I you got, got it. it. Yeah. yeah. Listen, guys, we're going to come back here again next Tuesday, right? Next Tuesday, mm -hmm. 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We're asking you guys to do us one solid favor. Share this video. Mm -hmm. Share this video. Share this video, okay? And if I can do anything for you to help you out with your relationship or your family, there's a number you can call 855-4-ADVICE or, or you can um, inbox me or whatever and then I'll get back to you because this is what I do all day, every day. And I feel led too because Tom, Enrique and I, we are big, big networkers. And so where we live here in Richmond, Virginia, there are a lot of entrepreneurs. And so if you have something that you want us to share when we do our show, inbox us and send it to us you can send it to us and we would love to tell people and let them know what you have going on 
Something. I've been yeah, I've been meaning to do that. I don't care what it is, if it's a t shirt, a hat, or whatever. Whatever we can do to help entrepreneurs because that's what we are and so we're very sensitive to that. That's good. Let us know. Inbox us, me or Enrique well, Enrique. He's yeah. better with that. Don't inbox her. <laughs> you already know she's gonna yeah. shut you down. Yes. But if you <laughs> if you want us to share something with our friends and family, let us know and we'll be sure to do it. Hey, thank you for joining us today on this Tuesday. We hope you guys have a great week. If you could, hashtag for us one more time. One more time. Keep, Keep the, family the family together. together. And please share this video. Please. It's been great tonight. Yeah. We love you guys. Awesome and there's nothing that you can do about it. I got that from Dee Dee Renee. I jacked that from her. I loved it when she said that. Because you can't do anything about it. Night night, y'all. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. Good show. There's so much more. Still we're fighting for. Fight, y'all. Fight for the family. Fight. Fight. Fight for the family, y'all. Hey. There is so much more. Still we're fighting for. I love it. Fight for your family, y'all. I love it. I love it. Live your best life. Live your best life and don't go back and forth with those Negroes. <laughs> Eyes have been seen, ears have been heard. There is so much more. Yeah, still worth fighting for. Good night, guys. God bless you. Instagram. Good night, y'all. See you next Tuesday. So Facebook, we love you to everlasting life. God bless you guys. For.